Uh, well, we were thoroughly beaten. Um, yeah, at one stage there we had a, a shot to hit the front, but um, it, we probably would have been a bit of an unjust uh, win if we'd been able to snatch it. They were they were better than us across the whole game. So, um, so it's a it's a it's a leveler. It, uh, the game is a great leveler, and we just uh, we got a little less in there tonight. Yeah, all the yeah the the stoppage number wasn't too bad, but it was the yeah the general play contests. So I think we were minus 16 hardball get and about minus 80 <laughs> uncontested possession, which is uh, uh, which is a number which you know is unsustainable in terms of trying to get a win. So yeah, their ability to absorb our pressure. Um, to release that that first handball and then just flick it around, they did that you know, consistently across the night. So, um, well played, Melbourne. Uh, and we need to probably just address both the getting our hands on it first, and then also our, our ability to manage that when your opponent gets their hands on it first. So that was that was probably the key area, as well as some marks deep at, at either end. They they sort of owned zero to thirty aerially, so that's that's where you score from. Just on that uncontested possession, I mean, jumps off the stat sheet. Yeah. What, what does that tell you? Was it their, their game plan, or was it something you guys? Oh, did? I mean, visually, it was it was handball received. It was it was win contest, break a tackle, or we were still in the tackle, but their ability to absorb the tackle, and then go handball, 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 uh, just happened over and over again. So um, that's what it was. Adjusting to life without Aaron up forward, still a, a work in progress. Do you think? Yeah. Oh, look, I thought at, I thought they they did control the air down there, but um, at times we we looked good. I don't I don't think we gave our forwards the best opportunity. At, at times we sort of hit, sat the ball directly on the head instead of potentially just giving them a bit of angle to work with. Um, so that'll, that's a reasonable question, but I think I think there's we've got enough talent down there to to kick a score. What about Chelsea Randall? Yeah, we just wanted to change it up a little bit. Obviously, it felt as though Melbourne were in on top in the in the contest um, in all areas of the ground, but it often starts in the midfield. So yeah, we put her put her into the mid, and um, she's been training there a little bit through the preseason. And yeah, I thought she competed really strongly and gave us a, gave us a different look. Stevie, you had a new teammate out there tonight in Neve Kelly. Yeah, um, it's always good to welcome a debutante. Absolutely, um, she brings the speed and just the that smile on her, being able to be a part of this team and like she definitely showed it today. You get called Speedy Lee. <laughs> oh, she's double Speedy yeah. Lee. <laughs> Tell us about you know, what she brings on the train trip. Yeah, speed and just the hunger to, to learn and get better. Um, she's definitely shown a lot this uh, like the last nine weeks that we've had and being able to um, take her on board and, and just do what she needs to do, it, yeah, it's, it's good to see. Doc, any injuries from that tonight? I don't think so. I think um, a couple of bumps and bruises. It was a pretty physical game, obviously. Um, we've got a reasonable. We've got an eight-day break into the next one, and I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll be clean bill of health. So that's good. Where do you want to see those improvements next week? Obviously, other than contested possession. Yeah, that, I mean that's the one. Yeah, we just we've got to address that, or um, or we'll be doing it pretty tough until we get until we get that contest right. Everything else feeds off of that. So. Um, it's, it, it should be a reasonably straightforward review. <laughs> Sometimes when you get badly beaten, it's, it makes it more, you know, makes it simpler. It's, you know, it's pretty clear the areas that we have to address, and, and you know, we're really confident we can do that. We've got to, uh, you know, we've got some players that work incredibly hard. They've put in, you know, a really solid preseason, um, we, and you know, maybe we just didn't quite have the attention to detail on that element of the game, and, it, and it's the fundamentals. So, coach didn't do a good enough job. How did you try to address that during the game? Yeah, we spoke to it. Yeah, we spoke to it. Um, often, when you're trying to solve the problem uh, in the moment, it's it's sometimes past you. So, we, I mean, I thought we 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 moved the ball okay at times, went offensively, and, and we got a, gave ourselves inside fifties. As I said, we probably just didn't give our forwards uh, the best chance. But in the end, all of that is fairly secondary. So, as I say, the the. It was pretty obvious for everyone to see. He didn't have to be a rocket scientist to, to work out what was going on. Uh, and they were very good. Well done, Melbourne. Outside the ground, though, the crowd and everything looked really good, and the relocation to Melbourne. Yeah. No. The, yeah. Well, <laughs> how did it feel out there? So you, you sensed the crowd, and it was. Yeah. It, it seemed like a good venue, and, yeah. and people showed up, which we which we obviously appreciate. Um, 
Absolutely. I've been doing a fair bit of talking. <laughs> That's just normal. <laughs> no, nah, it's good to um, come out to a different venue and actually be able to support Glenelg. Um, Nord obviously was a little bit rough, so um, yeah, the, the grounds showed up pretty good for us tonight. Thanks, guys. Good job.